Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go Hustle out, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway And in the driveway, is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief uh, Better see with the negativity But I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go, go. As y'all can see, I'm in the belly of the beast What's going on? If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button uh, This video is coming to you today uh, My hat already pre-shot the video But somehow the file got corrupted or whatever on the phone, whatever um, so this one I had unboxed the new uh, oil catch can for the new vehicle well I'm sorry for the 2019 Dodge Challenger uh, it pretty much I went with the Amazon uh, oil catch can which is around about $22, $23 somewhere around that uh, ballpark figures um, it's the actual blue oil catch can so y'all stay tuned uh, pay attention I actually go into details of the oil catch can I'm sorry I didn't get y'all the unboxing of it, but for some reason the file got messed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it to you like this. So uh, y'all stay tuned and enjoy the video. Peace. All right, y'all. So we are back. So with this been done, the oil catch can. All right. So this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a flathead screwdriver, wire cutters, black tape is what I use. Um, this of course is your PCV valve holes, the factory one that comes with it. You're gonna need a couple of these. So the setup I did, uh, for, of course, I start mine's here, right here by the washer. It's literally like right here by the DSC module right here. Um, I mounted mine's with just one screw. I didn't need the second one. And you see it's sturdy, it's not going anywhere. Um, but yeah, so that's how I got mine's installed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm running, I ran the first line here, as you can see. All right and as you can see it's clean as possible so what i did was instead of me going to get that um that big heavy 90 degree elbow what i did was went to uh home depot and i got a extender piece which is this piece right here so it has the same end on this one as in the other end uh this is a three ace i have a picture of it also, let y'all see what it is after I show you this video right quick. Uh, the piece that I got, where it got, I got it and how much it was. So what I did was, the holes that I got, that I showed you guys that I ordered from Amazon, I took that piece and inserted it into, inside the holes. Then I took the black tape and went around it to secure it even tighter. Let me show you this trick now. This is an easy hack, most of y'all go like. So that's what the black tape is for. So what I did was, I took the rubber grommet that was on this end, this tip right here. Like I said, they, they did have this one glued on there pretty good uh, to where I was able to get that grommet off. Now, if you're not able to get that grommet off, um, I suggest you go with a thicker piece, a thicker hose, um, 3 8 So what I did was I was able to get it off, clean fit, and the part that was had the glue on it, you're going to take that part and it's going to be a snug fit on it just like that real snug fit um, so once you get that snug fitted on there like that you're going to take your clamp right here and you go follow it through the other end and you go put it around it and it's going to then you're going to tighten it on there that way that saves you from going to buy that big brass um, elbow to fit on there and what it'll do is when you go to slide it in there on that piece it's going to fit just like the factory piece fits um so don't go out there and spend a whole bunch of money on getting these elbows and all that other stuff if you're able to save that rubber grommet save it um it's best so um yeah so what i'll do is once i'll go ahead and install it i'll go ahead and uh 
I'm sorry, once I go ahead and put this on, I'll go ahead and show you the other half of the video. So stay tuned. A few moments later. All right, so we have the finished product. This is what it looks like. Pretty simple, easy to install, man. Um, on the ratings of how to install level-wise from about a one to a five, I would say, man, it was just very easy, bro. Uh, I would give it about a two. Give it about a two, man. Uh, it's that easy. Um, like I say, man, it's pretty much self-explanatory how to install it. What I did on my Challenger was I drilled a hole here. Um, put the screw in this way. I added a washer behind that one uh, Well a nut behind it to give it that separation space and as you see it is not going anywhere. I ran my line just like that Into that I don't know if y'all can see it man. The Sun is like right here on me man uh, So y'all can see what I said about the black duct tape. It gives it it gives it that extra support like thickness and width along with the uh, the clamp piece that's inside of it um so that's your look that's your in part i'm sorry that's your out part and that's your in part right there i don't know if y'all can see that so um yeah i'm going to get another clamp ring to go around there the one i had was too small so i'll add another one but in the meantime it's not going anywhere i promise you that it is not going anywhere but it's snug on there um so yeah so there you have it it's pretty much connected like I say, the connected piece in the back, that plastic piece, it goes from there all the way to that one. So all you're doing is pulling much, pulling that piece out, taking the rubber grommets off, save you some money, man. Um, once you do that, you just run your lines to the oil catch can. And let me fire it up for you. I'll let you see. <clears throat> let y'all see that there's no check engine lights and none of that and there you have it so as you see there is no check engine light none of that that's just my seatbelt light my trunk light because i got the trunk open um but yeah so just in case yes and nah see my trunk is open back there so all that is um but yeah, man, so there you have it. Uh, I'll give you a couple revs. Let's see what the oil looks like when I do rev it and everything. Give me one second, let me scroll for you. Like I said, for those of y'all that don't have a challenge or a charger um, and wanna know what I'm doing, this is what I'm using to flip through it, my vehicle info. Uh, let's see. So yeah, man, so there it is. So you see when I... I'm actually hitting the wall. So. And there you have it, man. Um, my oil pressure, y'all see it? So, just letting y'all know, man. Uh, Everything is okay. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go show y'all up under the hood um, for oil leaks, anything like that. Um, matter of fact, let's go check. All right. So. did a video on this thing especially my wise but yeah that, see my trunk was open man let y'all know the trunk was open um but yeah man like i say the bumper man the bumper is complete uh but yeah man um so also let me put this piece back on this is pretty much simple man like that. All right. And 
that's the setup of it. So there you have it, man. Oil catch can. If y'all have any questions, comment down below, man, and I'll uh, definitely answer them as best as possible um, on it. Like I say, it was very simple install. Uh, like I say, the only hard part was about trying to find a mountain place where you go mount it at. Um, so, but once you find a good mountain spot, it goes it, it goes all from there, man. Um, other than that, like I said, I'm thinking about changing to those silver lines. Y'all comment down below if I should switch to the silver line. I don't think I should. I like the black. Uh, but I mean, like I said, the blue was the only thing they had because I wasn't going to do red. Um, but yeah, so there you have it. I know, man, it's been a minute since y'all seen this thing, man. Let me cut it off for a second. Y'all gotta forgive me. Let y'all also see some more mods I don't add it. Just a little small little mod. Uh, nope, not those. But yeah. If you haven't noticed, I have installed the yellow rings inside the headlights. Um, I also redid the claws on there, man. I had to actually add new vinyl claws. So if y'all saw the last few videos, y'all know that when they did the bumper, um i had to redo my claws so also i got those from amazon so if you haven't seen that video go check that video out uh the headlights uh, by ox bean but yeah man she's coming back alone man i got some more stuff coming um so like i said if you haven't followed me make sure y'all go to my youtube page check out my instagram page you'll probably see it first on instagram before you will um YouTube, but yeah, it's coming back, man. I know it's been a minute, but I also went and looked at some wheels. I'm finna do with these. Hey, comment down below if y'all think I should do the Hellcat replica wheels. Um, I went and looked at those, thinking about going with those, of course, 20s, of course, but I want to do the staggered. I want to do the uh 305s in the back for what's coming for it. Uh, big mod coming for a big, big mod. Uh, i give you a hint it deals with air so that's coming uh, but yeah man there you have it install installation of an oil catch can um like i say i will i will have down below the description of everything that i got how much it costs break down all that stuff like that um but yeah that catch can like i said was like about 20 something bucks on amazon uh, we'll give it a try, man. Like I said, I just hit 12,000 miles. To show y'all, I just hit 12,000 on my for a year. Uh, about a year and four months, maybe. So I just hit that. So um, y'all stay tuned for that. Also, um, I'll be doing another video of a breakdown on how much it costs to get my bumper fixed. Also, uh, for those that's looking to see how much it, it ran me. Um, like I said, with insurance, it ran me 1100 but we'll go into details of that um also i got some more mods a few more mods coming for this vehicle before i make the big change whether i'm gonna keep it or whether i'm gonna uh flip it for something else uh the deal with the chrysler chrysler was beautiful man i enjoyed that ride um i don't know if y'all have ever driven the chrysler 300 s i know some of y'all have driven the chrysler 300 but that 300 s man that's something serious you hear me serious um and I got back from Myrtle Beach in three flat. Um, so, meaning from Myrtle Beach to Charlotte, I got back in three hours flat. Uh, 158 miles. Uh, so, y'all do the math, y'all do the break it down or whatever. <laughs> You'll see I was moving. Um, top speed I got on it was 130. And then it topped out for some reason. It would let me go over 130. Uh, and that was on I-20. So, most of y'all that have driven the I-20, y'all know that's a pretty open highway um but that's another story like i say that that car right there man I, I really did like it i ain't gonna say i fell in love with it but i did like it um i also got a photo shoot coming up so stay tuned for that we, uh my guys hit me up on that one and like i say man mr eddie eddie r man make sure you hit me up on instagram or hit me up on youtube that way i can get your information and stuff like that so i can send you your custom hoodie or custom shirt whichever one you want your color I just need your size and what color you want and which one you want. Uh, but with that said, man, y'all stay tuned. 
I'm gonna try to keep these videos coming. Peace. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm giving y'all a little vlog on the actual oil pressure while I'm driving. Uh, as of right now, with the oil catch can, um, the oil temperature is at 206. Um, that's probably because I haven't switched the gear. Um, but yeah, you can see where the oil temperature is at, at 206. Um, the trans temp is still there. Hold on, give me one second. Uh, my oil pressure is at 41 PSI. And, and of course, it fluctuates, you know, when I'm switching the gears. Uh, like I say, you know, I'm a manual guy. You, and I'll show you guys what I mean by that. When I switch down the gear, I'm going to show you. It went up. When I step on the gas, the oil pressure goes up. Of course, I mean, it, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, so, yeah, I thought I would give you guys an update on, you know, the oil pressure uh, and temperature and everything on while the oil catch can is in the car. Uh, can I feel a difference in the car? I somewhat do compared to what I had before. Um, but as you see, the oil pressure went back down to 27 PSI. That's with the oil catch can on. Uh, so yeah, man. So, so far, so good, man. Um, and y'all see I've traveled five miles. So, um, with that in a nutshell, like I say, man, so far, so good. Bang for the buck. Um, I know it's not a bullet, uh, oil catch can, but we're going to go with this one for right now to see how, you know, it does. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, this pilot, man, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, so I just thought I would give y'all that update on it just in case you guys want to know if y'all had questions, comments, or was wondering, you know, oh man, hey man, what's your oil pressure with the, with the catch can on and stuff like that. So y'all see it right here, a uh, live video of it, um, me driving it. So um, yeah, man, there you have it.